Hello, I'm Linda from paperboutique.blogspot.com. Today we're going to be making homemade post-it notes using your paper scraps and or recycled computer paper. Today we're going to be making these cute notes and I'm hoping that you can see. I love that you can make these notes out of leftover scraps of your card paper. This particular set contains a 3x3, a two and a half by two and a half and a two by two inch pad of homemade sticky notes. I also, let me just bring these in, I also made this cute pad of two by two notes just to show you that's not part of the bundle and then I made this cute page markers and this measures a half an inch by two inches and they're just like little post-it note flags. Well, today I'm going to demonstrate how to make the notes. In the future, I'll do a video on how to, how to actually make this bow. Well, let's get started. To make these pads, I use scraps of text weight paper. And let me just show you. It's a fair, it's not super thin. It's not quite as thin as computer paper, but it's, it's fairly thin. And I found that the text weight works probably the best. And for the blue and green pads, for this particular pad, and I don't know if you can see it here, or the green pad, what I did is I alternated the text weight paper with computer paper. It's a great way, and I just have a little piece over here, it's a gr just the regular computer paper. It's a great way to recycle leftover computer paper from the bottom of printed emails, reports, etc. You could also make these out of lighter colored paper so when you write on your notes they're a little easier to read. That's one of the reasons in this particular pad on the bottom two I alternated the colored paper with the white computer paper and this top pad is made just all with the colored text weight cardstock. You could also mix it up and use all different papers for a fun pad and it's just a great way to use up your scraps. Well let's go ahead and get started. First you're going to need scrap paper, like I said, and just plain old computer paper if you want to. You, you don't necessarily need to use the computer paper. This size, like I've mentioned, is two by two. And the medium size is two and a half by two and a half, and the large is three by three. And I'll just show them. You could make them different sizes. This is the three by three, the two and a half, and the two by two. And I just like that size so you could actually, actually stack them. Well, I'm going to demo how to make this 2 by 2 inch pad, but the process is the same for all sizes. Let me tell you, um, give you just a quick idea of how much paper you'll need. If you were to use a 12 by 12 sheet of text weight cardstock, you could get 36 2 by 2 inch pieces from a sheet. I, I, I would recommend using scraps, but that just gives you an idea of how much paper. This one, I used 30 pieces of just scrap paper, and it's 2 by 2. And you can make these as thick as you want or, you know, any size. That's the fun thing. And for this pad, I didn't alternate computer paper. I just did the regular. And it would make great teacher gifts as well, and your children will love making these. Well, first I cut all of my paper. And I, I thought it was very, let me grab this. I thought it was kind of therapeutic cutting all the paper. And next time, and here's some of the two by two inch paper. I cut. Next time I have leftover paper from a project, I'm just going to cut it into pieces and put it in a drawer and then it'll be easy to assemble. After you've got your cut paper, you'll need, and this is important, a repositionable glue stick. And this is Elmer's, I'm going to hold it steady here, Elmer's Craft Bond Repositionable Glue Stick. And I actually bought this at Walmart and a package of four was three dollars. Now so far I have made five pads and a set of flags and have only used half of one stick. And right now that's only about seven cents a pad plus your scrap paper. It's pretty inexpensive sticky notes. Well let's go ahead and get started. All you're going to do is take one sheet of paper face up and then you're just going to turn you know the others face down. And then what I like to do is go ahead, try to get the cap off, and do about, I just do one, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to bring in just some scrap paper, scrap piece of cardstock to work on so I don't ruin this orange sheet of paper. And then all I do is face down 
is about, I'm hoping that I'm in the middle of this, about a half an inch and I go over it a couple of times with the glue stick and then I line it up and just press it down and then if this one is happens to be just a piece, <laughs> I can't talk, a piece of computer paper and I'll just do the same thing and alternate and then I have one more let me just show you I'm sure you know how to glue and then you just keep doing that I did it twice now I want to really point out a couple of things one it's never going to be perfect no matter how hard you try as you can tell mine isn't perfect and purchase sticky notes are trimmed after they're assembled so unless you have a machine they're not going to line up perfectly like a sticky note but don't worry if they're a little off all you need to do for the last piece is cut it just slightly larger and put it on the top and it's really really your problem is solved i'm going to cap my glue here one other thing i want to mention is i strongly recommend that you tr do a test with your glue stick depending on the weight of the paper sometimes one swipe is enough sometimes two swipes is enough it just depends if you put too much glue on it'll pull you know the paper some of the paper will come off if you put too little it won't stick but just experiment and after you get the system down for the type of paper it just works perfect and they're they're sticky notes in fact when I was testing it I put one on the refrigerator for two days and it, it didn't fall off well let me just recap these sizes in case you want to try this and tell you a couple more things the large notes are three by three again and just to give you an idea of how many you can get out of a 12 by 12 inch paper you can get 16 for this one I used um, 14 pieces of scrap paper and 14 pieces of white copy paper and the medium is two and a half by two and a half and you can get 16 to a 12 by 12 sheet which you're never going to use you're going to use your scraps and computer paper but it just gives you an idea this one is 28 pieces 14 white um, copy paper and 14 and then the last one we've already talked about the two by two and my flag I didn't even count it's one half by two inches and I just used a six by six inch square so I'd love to thank you for watching and please visit my blog at www.paperboutique.blogspot.com for more projects and ideas bye bye